Hi everyone, it's Mary Louise here from East Coast Stamping with Mary Louise, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Aylesford, Nova Scotia, Canada. And since I am from the East Coast and very close to wa water of all types, I thought today's focus would be on seashells and uh, water colors. So my stamp set today is going to be the Friends Are Like Seashells. And I have quite an arrangement of these. I have used the seashells uh, embossing folder. And I've embossed that on Coastal Cabana. You can see that there. So it's a full, it's a full, see a little better that way. The entire um, folder is seashell impressions. So I've already done that on a piece of Coastal Cabana, <clears throat> which I'm going to mount onto a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. And I just refilled my stamp and seal so I won't run out. These colors are very pretty and very watery like. I'm sure there's a more technical term, but we're going to use this just because, you know, that's how it is. So today I'm actually following a sketch. I haven't used this stamp set in so long, and I really wanted to do something with it. So I found just a random sketch online and this is what I'm using. I have no idea if it's a current sketch challenge or not, but I just, I really liked the layout and thought I could do something fun with it. <clears throat> so I have another strip of the Bermuda Bay that I'm going to use now to decorate. I'm using my Memento ink, I am using the, uh, what's it say now? Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. I'm just stamping it up in Memento. I think I was a little bit over achieving there. I'm oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, I'm going with that. And because I have it already open, um, I'm going to stamp my insert with the I'm so happy I found you. So I am going to pull that out of the way just long enough to stamp because I can see that the the stamp is not on my block straight so I wanted to make sure that I didn't make it crooked. So that's all I'm doing now for the stamping with the memento. So I have already gone ahead and stamped on some basic white um, using the sand dollar in crumb cake, some of the uh, grasses in garden green, uh, calypso coral for the clamshell, and I also used the starfish and I used the coastal cabana. And then I have fussy cut those out just to save some time, but I am going to put a couple of elements onto my white uh, insert. So I'll get my crumb cake out for my sand dollar, and I'm just going to make a little bit of a a little bit of a um, arrangement along the bottom, and my calypso coral. So as I was trying to decide what colors I wanted to use, I uh, kind of did some research on some starfish. I've been around some starfish, of course, but um, I really wanted a different color. Didn't want to use the same color as the, because um, I thought that they were all um, like a pinky color, but they are quite diverse in colors. So. That was kind of cool, so I learned something. So that was the starfish done in the Bermuda Bay. So, 
I am done with that and I am happy with that. I'm going to put that on the inside now. I don't have a rhyme or reason or an actual step-by-step -step that I follow. If I get something completed, I put it on if it looks like it needs to go on next. Sometimes I have forgotten to put the insert in, even though I've had everything set out to create it. All right, so now let's start putting together our little piece here. So I've cut out some grasses. I'm just going to kind of get a feel for where I want them before I put them down. I have learned that lesson. Kind of reminds me of Gillyweed from Harry Potter. Yes, I'm one of those. I do. Okay. One, two, three. All right, I'm happy with how that is. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of our grasses. Stick those down first. mind that it goes a little bit up over the top but I don't want it to go any further over because it is on the edge of our strip and I want a couple of dimensionals of course I just grabbed the first ones that I come to and they are the black ones which is fine. It doesn't matter. These work really well when you have a dark colored um, base and a dark colored um, <clears throat> cardstock that you want to pop up. So that way you don't see the white if you use the dimensional in between. Okay. I'm happy with that. So now we want some bigger ones though. So I am going to pop this up. Now, I need to decide. This is this is the point. I need to decide what I'm. I brought some twine out. I don't use twine enough. I brought it. Oh, there it is. And. Sometimes cards just need a little something. So I just put a little bit of twine. Probably. Yeah, I need that to go a little further. Yeah, I'll stick it to the dimensional. Sorry. I keep forgetting that I should be showing you what I'm doing. Give that a little snip. So I just use um, three strands of the, I'm thinking it's probably either crumb cake or soft suede. I'd have to actually look on the um, on what color it is. It's from the Essentials Baker's Twine Essentials pack. I think I might need 
Just a couple little gems. And I'm going to go with the pastel pearls. Again, I'd have to actually look in the book to see what color they are. But this color looks quite close to the Calypso Coral. Oh, I think it's a little pinker. Actually, I think I'm going to use this one here. Yeah, I can do that. I can change my mind, right? I have that. Use my take the pick tool here. the other end doesn't even screwed in. <laughs> See what I mean? I guess I took it, oh no, there it is there. There. Oh, and I feel it really big. <coughs> Excuse me, sneeze coming on. <clears throat> so, there is my card. I am just going to zoom out a little bit so I can bring my um, sketch back in. And ta-da! There is my sketch using uh, my Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set, my watery colors. Um, and my seashells embossing folder so um, thank you for dropping by if this is your first time seeing my YouTube channel uh, I welcome you and I thank you uh, please hit the subscribe button so that way next time when I have another video go live you will get notifications uh, if you are a returning member thank you again for popping by and um, would appreciate a thumbs up if you liked my video and please any comments that you have. If you, <clears throat> if you want to make a card, choose to make a card using the same sketch, I would love to see it in the comments. Um, again, thank you. Mary Louise here from East Coast Stamping. Have a great day.